Hello, Sister Ella here, Salesian Sister. The Gospel today is on the Beatitudes. It's from today's Gospel taken from the St. Matthew chapter 5, the beginning of the Sermon on the Mount. If you read from chapter 5 to 7, wonderful, I recommend it in your New Testament, your Bible. Absolutely wonderful and begins with the, the Beatitudes, the eight Beatitudes. St. Luke has a slightly different um, numbering. He has four and then four, uh, four and four, but we'll concentrate on Matthew. But we'll take from Luke what he says. He doesn't say blessed those. He says happy those. And really, that's what beatitude means. It means blessing, happiness. And that's what we're all looking for. Everybody wants to be happy. So if Jesus, who's God made man, if he gives us some pointers on being happy, then it's worth listening to. But Perhaps some of the things he says kind of turns our ideas on the head. Just completely different from what we would think of being happy. Blessed are the poor in spirit. You know, that within us, we're, we're not bothered about outward wealth or attention or uh, celebrity or any of these things that, that people are kind of driven towards no blessed are the poor in spirit and then things like those who mourn my goodness I just can't think of that being a happiness but wait a minute what are we to mourn about we can mourn about our sins mourn about our weaknesses mourn about the fact that we're not up to the mark that we're not as good as we should be or could be maybe moan about those things and then the blessed are the meek oh my goodness and to do who wants to be meek we want to be people with attitudes and people for uh, on top of things oh blessed are the meek the humble Humble means being close to the ground, you know, the humus, the soil. If we're close to the soil, we're close to the ground, we haven't got very far to fall. So no wonder we're happy. And so, and so it goes on. Blessed are those who seek righteousness, to go after the, 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 the real things, the right things, the things that matter. And, and the pure in heart, peacemakers. Oh, all those, all those wonderful, wonderful things that Jesus has done. It's the sort of fulfillment of the Ten Commandments. Jesus goes up a hill. It's not really a mountain, the Mount of Beatitudes. It's not very high. It's a bit like being at Loch Lomond. The Scots, you understand that. And a lovely view of the Lake of Galilee. Not very high, but high enough for Jesus to be able to speak to the people. I've got a little card here and it's um, a couple of girls holding a poster and they've kind of modernised the, the Beatitudes in a way. Be gentle, be humble, be sorrowful, be merciful, be just, be peaceful, be pure, be courageous. So. It's the B attitudes. What's our attitude? I think that's quite a good way to consider oneself, especially in going to confession. What's my attitude? What kind of person am I? How do I tick? What's my attitude? And let's hope our attitudes 
we correspond to Jesus, Beatitudes, the way to happiness.